This is Gracie, or Cow812. Gracie became very ill a couple of months ago, and because of that illness, she lost a large amount of weight. Losing weight for cows is not good because it puts severe amounts of pressure on their feet, and as you can see from these videos, she was extremely lame. In other words, she was finding it very, very sore to walk. My job as a professional cattle foot trimmer is to try and take her on a path to recovery, and we've been following her progress over the last couple of months, and each time we visited her, she's got slightly better. This has been a twisty story full of ups and downs, and I'm returning to her farm today to find out how she's doing now. During this process, the farmer has done everything he possibly can to keep her as comfortable as possible, so I'm very, very keen to see how she's doing now. If you enjoy videos like this and would like to see more, think about smashing that subscribe button, guys. It's completely free to do, but it lets you know every time a new video is uploaded. Guys, stick with me, enjoy the video, and let's see how Gracie is doing now. Come on. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Go. Come on, lass. On you go. Good girl. Go on. So, guys, she is in. I say she's put a bit of weight on and she's walking really well. Let's see how her foot is doing, though. <laughs> That's right. Look. I am your father. I am struggling so much with Gracie. I am so disappointed that that has come back. I thought this was, foot was like completely recovered, but obviously not. I'm trying my best though, guys. Promise. So I'm literally doing everything in my power, everything in my know-how to get Gracie back fit and well. She actually is looking miles, miles better than she was the first time we saw her and she's obviously much more comfortable. This cow is giving about 30 litres of milk per day, which for the UK average is probably above average because we keep seeing to her feet. I really, really want to get fenced. Anyway, this thicker block will help to get this off the ground because it's kind of squidgy. It won't do any damage to that outer quarter. Trying to get 812 back on the mend is really, really stressing me out. There's a lot of pressure, it feels like, from you guys. Um, with every cow, I want to do the best I can. But because she's kind of become a little bit of a celebrity on this channel, anyway, it puts extra pressure on the fact that I really, really want to get her all fixed up. If you remember correctly, it was actually the back left foot which was much worse than the back right foot to begin with. So having just picked that up to find this, I'm not really looking forward to picking up the back left foot and disappointing you guys even further. Sometimes you get cows in, I don't just mean like her because actually we can do quite a lot for her because despite the fact that she's not completely fixed, she is far more comfortable. So from my point of view, I feel quite good about that. But sometimes you get cows in, you can't really do much for it at all, and that is really, really disheartening. So here is her other foot. I actually saw her about four weeks ago and put this block on here, which I made out of glue, blue and white, because I ran out of blue. And this is like this rather than a proper block because there's a problem in here, which we're trying to avoid putting weight on. But this problem is so severe, we needed to put this block on too.
It's actually got too much weight on here now, so we're going to reduce the height of this. So basically we have a success and a failure all rolled into one. She's more comfortable, but we haven't completely healed her yet. At least she's more comfortable and doing well. She looks happier too. Let's see how she's walking. So I've probably sounded pretty disheartened in this video, but actually Cow 812 is walking fantastically well considering the problems she has. Look at that back left claw, it's barely touching the ground. So all of the pain is off that claw and the back right one isn't touching the ground where it's sore at all. So from my point of view, as a functional hoof trimmer, this is a success. When a cow enters the crush, I aim to provide a higher level of comfort for her and pain relief if possible. Obviously I want to fix it in the long term and hopefully this will be the case for 812 in the near future. To be honest, I just want to turn up here, trim Gracie and be like, oh my god, she's fixed, she's healed, I'm a miracle worker. That's her, that's the last you'll see of 812 because she's perfect. But it's not happening, is it? Hopefully, it will. And if you guys want to follow our story, I'm not going to trim her again, probably now, for at least six weeks. I want to give it time just to materialize and grow, and I don't want to be footering with it any more than I need to be. So we're going to leave her be for quite a while now and visit her again, hopefully, when she's much better. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Goodbye.